This is Local Live with Steve Fillmore. We're joined today by Improv Comic and Quizzo host, Sean P. McGuire. How's it going? Hey, how we doing? I'm excited to be here. Thanks for making some time. We appreciate it. Yeah, of course. Absolutely. Anything for you guys. Thanks. Uh, so uh, we're uh, talking with Sean from his home here in East Falls. He has basically been uh, working at the Wissahickon Brewing Company. Uh, Murphy's is another uh, local location. He does do some things in Philadelphia, but he has had to adapt it like uh, all businesses uh, to do sort of more of a virtual thing. So uh, you've been doing this since uh, what, mid-March, correct? Yeah, it was the, uh, the week of St. Patrick's Day was the first one. The hardest part for me was just kind of getting like the technical stuff, trying to figure out, you know, how can I make this look nice, still look professional, and then uh, how to broadcast it to everybody. And you had to also deal with local, you, you were getting prizes from local uh, businesses and things like that. Uh, people were very generous, it seems. Yeah, the early weeks, like the first, I think like the first month, I was getting about half the prizes were donated. I was like, hey, can I get, like, I was always willing to buy, you know, support their business and stuff. I was like, hey, can I get like two $10 gift cards? They're like, oh, sure, just take them. Take whatever you need, which is, that's crazy awesome. Like, that's super cool that they would do that. Mm -hmm. uh, so I always made sure to give them some lip service when I needed to. Uh, yeah, it's been pretty nice. And what's, uh, what do you miss most then about the live quiz though? Honestly, the thing I miss most is just like seeing people there. Uh, it's, it's a lot more taxing doing virtual quiz because I'm, I'm talking at people. I feel like I'm just talking to like a little camera on my computer. Uh, I've got my girlfriend behind the camera when I'm doing it. So it kind of helps, but it's, it's different. You know, I, I miss the, the sense of like a community, like hanging out with my friends uh, or people that heckle me sometimes. Uh, I, yes, I just miss being around people. Yeah, and I guess uh, coming from an improv, improv comedy background, you sort of rely a lot on that timing. Yeah, absolutely. Like I feed off of the energy. Like, I feel like people see that a lot. Like when it's kind of like a slow night, uh, I feel like quizos aren't as good. I'm not as energized. And then you know when we'll get like 30 teams, I'll be like super into it. I'll be super excited. And then I can't I can't get that when it's just on a computer. When it's just me talking to a little camera, it's, it's not the same. Can't do it. Yeah, there's always that uh, that delay that gives you that that extra pause there. We've seen that you are uh, doing some cooking. We saw a general a plate yeah. of General Sows on your front porch at one point, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and uh, so you've been sort of expanding your cooking repertoire. Yeah, so I mean, I always like to cook. It's just like a fun thing I like to do. But now that we're under lockdown, uh, you know, we got all this time. We're not really going anywhere. So I thought I'd like uh, branch out and try some new things. So I did General Sows. Uh, we have a pasta maker, so we've been making lots of like homemade pasta. Mm. Um, last week we made ricotta just for uh, just for fun, just for shits and giggles, uh, and then we turned the ricotta into pasta. Like, that was really cool. It was a uh, ricotta gnocchi. Like, that wow. was really fun. Took a little while, but that was fun. Pretty cool. I mean, I kind of just make uh, whatever I feel like making that day. Uh, but I, I think our go-to is pizza. We make really good pizza. Mm. Yeah. Well, we know that you also have uh, your heart here in East Falls and uh, your support of the uh, the East Falls Servers Fund. Uh, which you donate a portion of your proceeds to on a regular basis. Yeah, so uh, so for uh, Virtual Quizzo, the top prize is like a 50-50 Venmo pot. So I'll just like collect donations. I never ask anybody like, hey, throw me some dollars, five dollars a play or whatever. Mm -hmm. Totally whatever you need, whatever you can, because I know not everybody's working. Not everybody wants to give money. You know, I get it. Mm -hmm. uh, so half of the pot goes to the winner and the other half goes to our friends in the service industry. Uh, it's a cause near and dear to my heart. It's my friends, my family, you know, my coworkers, and the Murphy sometimes. And it's the people that make uh, Quizzo go round. Yeah, and you're also uh, patronizing local businesses. You mentioned you uh, had uh, some turf burgers the other night from Murphy's. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, so we we do takeout every Quizzo night. It's kind of our uh, our our night to ourselves. So we'll get takeout. Uh, we'll go Murphy's, Foghorn, in Riva, uh, the Rook, up in Manor. We kind of bounce around. Shan Chuan just opened back up. Mm -hmm. We got them. So yeah, we'll kind of treat ourselves to uh, a local spot for dinner. Well, we're going to uh, turn the tables on the Quizzo Master here, <laughs> and we're going to ask uh, you five trivia questions uh, for Sean McGuire about Sean McGuire's. Okay, sure. Uh, so uh, we've got six questions here. Unfortunately, we don't have any prizes, but you can have bragging <laughs> rights if uh, you know if you succeed in answering these. Uh, we Googled your name and came up with a list of uh, five <laughs> other Sean McGuire's. Uh, one of the McGuire's in this list is fake. So we'll read them to you. Okay. Let us know what you think. There's going to be five of them. Let us know which one after you're done, which one you think is the fake. Sure. 
So there is Sean McGuire, the actor who appeared in the short-lived 2006 sitcom, The Class. There's Sean McGuire, a Center City mixologist whose signature drink is a fresh carrot cocktail with gin. There is a Sean McGuire, a fiddle champion from Belfast, Ireland. A Sean McGuire, an American gridiron quarterback for the Canadian Football League. And Sean McGuire, a junior PGA championship qualifier and 2017 player of the year. Ooh. Uh, well, I know the first one is real. The actor is real because uh, I've also Googled my name and he's the first one that always popped up. Uh, the other ones, I don't know. Hmm. I think the Ireland one's probably real because Sean and McGuire are both pretty uh, common names over there. Mm -hmm. um, hmm, I don't know. Uh, the quarterback, I don't think the quarterback is real. Okay. There's, there's right. only like nine teams and I don't think a Sean McGuire plays for one of them up there. Okay. All right. Uh, well, I don't have a, a buzzer, but unfortunately, the one that was fake was the fiddle champion from Northern Ireland. Oh, and we sort of got you on a technicality here because it's M C G U I R E, oh, not right. M A G U I R E. So you can always say, you know, hey, they, this was just a, a semantics thing. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, question two uh, Sean McGuire is also the name of a significant character in a Ben Affleck and Matt Damon Oscar-winning breakout movie from 2018. Yeah. Who played that character? Robin Williams. Oh, bam. Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Easy one. Easy. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good character, too, so I'm glad it's not like, like some like bad character has my name. No, no, it's a great name. character. And, yeah, yeah what a, uh, one of my favorite movies. Uh, so, uh, let's see. Within one week, what is the date? of your last blog post at seanpmcguire.com? Oh, geez. Uh, oh, good question. It was definitely about Virtual Quizzo. I know that. Uh, it was, I think it was probably close to when I started it. So I'm going to say like the week of St. Patrick's Day, like 317. Oh, actually, you're more prolific than that. April 20th. Really? Oh, wow. All right. Yeah, yeah, that was your latest. Yeah. And uh, for those of you watching this, uh, Sean also is a regular contributor to uh, mm -hmm. our Northwest local newspaper. He writes uh, the Quizzo uh, column for us. Uh, and I think the latest one was May the 4th be with you. With you yeah. The yep. tongue mm -hmm. twister. Yeah, which was a lot of fun. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. And thank you for the help. We definitely appreciate it. Of course. Absolutely. Uh, question four. Uh, the description on your Facebook page provides three favorite quotes. Can you name one of those? Yeah. Uh, actually, I can name two of them. I don't know what the third one is. Uh, oh, no, no, no. I don't, exactly know. I know exactly what all three of them are. Uh, there's the Warren Zevon quote. It's like the last time he was on David Letterman. David asked him, uh, you know, do you have any life advice for everybody? He said, enjoy every sandwich, which I thought was funny. And like super co like confound, profound, uh, super great. Uh, the other one is uh, Spider-Man. Like they say in every Spider-Man thing. Uh, great power comes great responsibility. Uh, and then the third one, of course, is Chase Ali, where he says, world food champion. <laughs> I don't know if I can curse yeah. on the internet or not. Yeah, yeah, no, that's okay. Yeah, yeah, but uh, <laughs> that's funny. That's great. Uh, and, of course, three for three. So yes. nailed it. Uh, and let's see, question five. Also in your Facebook description, you have a total of 377 likes. Most of <laughs> the other Facebook pages, 55 artists, 18 restaurants, nine sports teams, but only one book. Ooh. What is the book? I didn't know I had any books on there. I don't, I'm not really much of a reader. Hmm. Oh, man. Uh, I don't know. Hey, you got me. I can't name it. It's uh, actually a local uh, author, Joe Minardi, who has written oh. some history posts for us. That's Historic that's architecture of East Falls, Manion, yeah. and Roxborough. Yeah, I forgot that counts as a book because he's got, I guess, it's like a whole Facebook page of that, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. really nice if you get a chance to take a look at it. It's, it's pretty cool. I have it. I've pulled some, some trivia from there. I do a couple like local rounds every once in a while. Oh, okay. Good. I like it. Yeah. 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 Great guy, Joe. Uh, so let's see. And there's a bonus question. There's only one movie you liked. Can you name that one? Oh, stop making sense. Talking heads. Oh, Chuck Lawson and the Night of the Invaders. Oh, dang it. Yeah. That's a, <laughs> uh, a couple of my friends from the Philly Improv Theater put that together. It's, it's pretty funny. Uh, it's oh, it, it's local, so it's a little low budget, but it's a fun movie. Very nice. Oh, neat. And so these are some of the people from your, uh, uh, Nilo, uh, no, was it Xylobone? Xylobone. No, uh, it's, no, it's more of the, like, the instructors, like the, the, big, uh, the big names in the scene, I guess. 
Oh, okay. Uh, Matt Schmidt and Jackie Baker are the two leads. Okay. All right, cool. Uh, and then the last question, what year was the first event you shared on your Facebook page? Oh, that is a good question. Uh, it's probably a college event. I was in the Campus Activities Board. Um, so 2013, but actually saying that, I think that's a little late, but I don't know what will be before that. Uh, 2015, Maniunk Street Food Fest. Oh, no shit. All right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's all right. Did, uh, and you mentioned that also recently. Do you perform at all at that, at that event or do you just simply, or do you just go for the great food? Yeah, I'm just there for the food and like the ambiance and everything. I don't, yeah. I don't perform. I don't actually perform really at all anymore. Quiz, I was like taking over my life. I don't get a chance to perform. <laughs> well, that's good since it seems to be taken off. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. so I mean, I guess in closing then, do you have any other, uh, any big announcements or plans or anything coming up that people should know about? Um, not too much. I mean, I'm still in the works. I want to do, like this virtual quiz has been great. It's been very nice to me. So I want to figure out a way to do it when we're out of quarantine. I still got to figure out, you know, how and when, like how to not step on uh, other quizos toes. So I want to figure that out. So stay tuned to that. Uh, and I do, I've been doing corporate gigs for like schools and hospitals and regular offices that's uh it's been very fruitful so if somebody out there watching this wants to have a personal quiz you know it's always good for for team building uh, especially since we can't see each other it's always a good good thing to do and i am available oh excellent very cool but uh thank you very much for making time we appreciate it john yeah thanks for having me this is a blast